Now that we have our project set up, we can start scraping websites. But to do that, we will need spiders inside of our website. And spiders are nothing but Python classes which have the information to scrape different websites. That is, we have our scrapey project, that is the web scraping project, inside of which we will create spiders. Each spider will have a information of which website to scrape, what data to select, and what data to extract. So we can define many spiders inside of our project which will scrape the data from different websites or we can just create one single spider as well. So to create a spider that is a python class, we'll need a file in which it will be stored. And that can go inside of our spiders folder or the package because it has the init module. So I'll go ahead and create a new file inside of our spiders package and let's name it something like let's say ebook because we want to scrape ebooks and inside of this ebook.py that is our ebook module now inside of our ebook module we will create our own spider and as i mentioned before scrapey does a lot of things for us like sending a request handling the response and extracting the data and to get those features out of the box, we need to inherit the Scrapey Spider class. So for that, first of all, we will need the Scrapey module. So I'll import that inside of our ebook module. And then we will create a new class which should inherit the Scrapey Spider class. Now, of course, I can go ahead and say from Scrapey import Spider like this. But if you want, you can do this. But I'll just use the Scrapey import line like this. Now what we have to do is create our own class which will inherit this spider. So let's go ahead and define a new class. So we'll use the class definition and let's say we'll name it something like ebook spider like this. Note that the naming convention of the class has a spider at the end because it is a spider. So after this we will inherit the scrapey spider and we do that inside of the parentheses like this and that class is scrapey spider like this. So here what we have done is defined our own class that is ebook spider which is inheriting the scrapey spider and this scrapey spider class has all the built-in functionalities that is sending a request, getting the response and extracting the data and inside of this ebook spider which is our own spider will define the things which it should do like which website to send the request and which data to select. So that's what we define inside of this spider. And one more thing we can do is give our spider a name using the name class variable. So let's say the name of our spider will be ebook like this, which is just the thing before the spider inside of our class that is right here. So that's how we define a spider inside of our Scraby project.